Hey guys, thanks for joining in on another episode. So I'm going to be starting a new journey and I'm going to be comparing the Sea Monkeys with the Aqua Dragons. I'm going to open these and set them up right next to each other uh, with as least variables as possible just to see which ones do better. Um, so long and short of it, let's get started. All right, we're going to start with the Sea Monkeys Ocean Zoo first. Take a look at this artwork in the front. So inside it has the Ocean Zoo tank, feeding spoon, three pouches, and instruction sheet. Three steps. You put your water purifier, wait 24 hours, then you put your pouch number two, which are the eggs, and then you feed on the fifth day. Here's our good old instructions. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. We've seen this a lot in some previous videos. But basically this is a big introductory into sea monkeys and their history. And of course, they always have the warranty here. That's a classic move. You got a two year warranty. Your sea monkeys don't hatch. Here's all the steps. And here's your hatching time, depending on temperature. So here's our feeding spoon. Pouch number three, our growth food. Pouch number two, our instant live eggs. And pouch number one, water purifier. Because I like to count backwards. All right, this is basically trash. I'm not gonna keep this. And we are ready to fill the tank. Step one, we fill it with distilled or spring water. I'm gonna be using distilled water. That's been working really well for me. Um, always give your tank a little rinse. You always wanna rinse these tanks first. All right, I'm gonna put these aside. I've got my distilled water right here. Fill right up to that line right there. Designated line in the back. Then we're going to add pouch number one, water purifier. Stir my tank. I'm actually going to get my aqua leash I have for my other tanks. Looks like my cat wants to walk on the table. <laughs> So there are some eggs in pouch number one. That's part of the little secret to these sea monkeys. And some of these eggs might even hatch tonight. But the sea monkeys are just so small that when you add pouch number two, there's some eggs in here as well. Um, and also some salt and a little bit of food dye. And that blue dye makes it so that these tiny sea monkeys that may have hatched the night before are actually visible now. Sorry if I spoiled the fun. <laughs> So there's our sea monkeys. I'm gonna let that sit for 24 hours and then we're gonna add pouch number two. 
All right, now it's time to open up our Aqua Dragons. Now this tank does have LED lights, and it's also a color changing aquarium, which lets us know if the tank is too cold for Aqua Dragons. Some images here. So it includes built-in LED lights, so you can view at night. Hot your own live aquatic creatures. They grow up to 1.5 centimeters. So includes color changing tank with built in magnifier, live eggs, food, air bobbler, spoon, instructions. Oh, it also includes two AAA batteries. Would you look at that? Some background there. All right, so let's get to the fun part. All right, we got a big box, but it's basically the same stuff as the sea monkey tanks. So here's our tank. We got the air bubbler, the food and the eggs, a little instruction sheet, and here's our lid. It goes right on there. Also our spin. All right, so let's get to it and see what it says. You're advised to keep this important information. Batteries must be replaced by an adult. <laughs> Switch toy off before opening battery compartment. Remove exhausted batteries from toy. Fit batteries correctly. All right, so that's just instructions on how to change the batteries. Won't need that. Life cycle of aqua dragons. First, you got the cyst, then the breaking stage, then the emerging embryo enclosed in hatching membrane, the newly hatched nauply with yolk, <laughs> differentiation, malting, adult riding pair. Here's a little anatomy there. Pretty cool. Aqua dragons, like most aquatic life, are sensitive to sharp changes in temperature. The tank in this kit includes a mountain that changes color according to the temperature in order to indicate whether the water temperature is too warm, orange, too cold, dark blue, or good, green. So we want it to stay green. Did you know the male aqua dragon can be differentiated from the female by its mane of feelers it has on its head? Yeah, so basically those horns that we see in the sea monkeys. All right. So I guess our instructions are just on the box. Let me grab that box again. So it definitely doesn't have as detailed instructions as some of the sea monkey tanks do. I'm just gonna go by this picture right here, I guess. So we add the water and the eggs and we wait 48 hours. Huh. All right, so let's go for it. I have my distilled water right here. I'm gonna fill it up to the line. Oops, 
I forgot to rinse it. Let's rinse the tank first. Check these batteries, but they should be in there. Yep. Pretty cool. All right, filling it up to the line. And I'm gonna put in my eggs. Probably need scissors to open this one compared to the sea monkeys. Oops, I don't want that in there. All right, it's in there. This aqua leash does feel a little thinner, but it seems to be working a little better. Time will tell. All right. Here's my kitty cat, wants to see what I'm doing again. All right, so let's set these down and see what they look like in the room. All right, so here's our three tanks. So it's day two for our Ocean Zoo Sea Monkeys and day two for our Aqua Dragons and day 564 for our Sea Monkeys on Mars. So let's take a closer look on each tank and we're going to add packet number two in our Ocean Zoo Sea Monkeys. Alright, so before I add packet number two, let's take a close look in the tank. I have seen a few babies in here. There's a few babies that have already hatched. They're very hard to see. There's one to our bottom right. There's another one on the left side. All right, so here's our packet number two. I'm gonna open this up. Now there are more eggs in here, as well as a little bit of salt and some food dye as well. The reason for the food dye is it helps you able to see the sea monkeys that are tiny in there because the water turns darker and the sea monkeys are a brighter color. So they contrast against each other. Aqua leash. All right, let's zoom in and see if we got some instant life. There's a couple right there. A couple more down on the bottom there.
Looks like we did get some of that hatched right away, actually. All right, now here's our aqua dragons. We got this little light down here. We're gonna turn that on. Let's take a closer look. There's definitely a few that have hatched in here. I see a ton of babies on the bottom. And honestly, all over. There's a lot. <laughs> All right, and here we are. Last, but certainly not least, our 564 day old sea monkeys on Mars. This colony has been doing great. Got a few fully grown adults, some pregnant females, some little babies swimming around, and a couple teenagers. So we let everything settle for about an hour and I'm seeing a few more babies hatching. This is our Sea Monkeys Ocean Zoo. And here's our Aqua Dragons. Definitely see a lot more Aqua Dragon babies. Now here we are on day three. A few more sea monkeys have been hatching. And there's a ton of aqua dragons. So here we are, day four. Take a look at the sea monkeys. There have been a few more that hatched. And now our aqua dragons. There's a whole ton of these guys. I'm gonna aerate these tanks today. So it's day five and we are gonna feed our sea monkeys and our aqua dragons according to the directions. Here's our growth food. One of the small side of the spoon from the sea monkeys. And here's our aqua dragon's food. We'll use a small side of the spoon that they gave us. Alright. A little darker. Now I am going to aerate both tanks. Alright, let's take a closer look.
a couple newborns. Aqua Dragons has a lot more still. And we can't forget about our sea monkeys on Mars. There's still some adults and babies and teenagers in here. All right guys, so it's day seven and let's check these tanks out. Here's our sea monkeys on Mars. Got a couple new babies, but looks like some of those smaller ones may have disappeared. And our aqua dragons are doing great. A couple babies in there as well, it just hatched. And let's not forget our sea monkeys on Mars. All right, it's day eight, and let's see how our sea monkeys compare to our aqua dragons. So unfortunately, I haven't seen any sea monkeys in the last day or two. They all kind of died off. Maybe I got to get the tank from their website, and not just a toy store, but these aqua dragons are doing great. So it's time to top these tanks off just a bit. And I'm also gonna aerate the aquariums. So I'm not even going to feed the sea monkeys Ocean Zoo because there's no sea monkeys in there. I haven't seen any hatch in a few days. We'll keep a close eye and see if anything happens. But I am going to feed one small scoop of the sea monkey food to our sea monkeys on Mars. And one small scoop of our aqua dragons. I'm going to aerate the tanks as well.
Looks like there is one sea monkey. 